best friend has been out of town for three days and technically I haven't seen her in four because I didn't see her the day before she left, but this has been the longest three days of my life. And unfortunately, she's still not coming back for another five days. So as you can probably assume, I've been spending a lot of time to myself and it's definitely been different. <laughs> I got a new pair of shoes yesterday on my way to, well, I thought I was on my way to the gym yesterday, but apparently they close at 7 p.m. on Saturday, so I didn't get to go last night, but I'm gonna redeem myself today. I'm gonna share with you a few tips that I have for going to the gym alone because I know that it can be intimidating for some people, especially if you're new at going to the gym. So my first tip is to go super early in the morning. I'm talking five, six, 7 a.m. Usually around that time at my gym, it seems to be the most empty. But if you can't make it in the morning, it also tends to be pretty slow on the weekends and the afternoons because most people are doing something else than being at the gym on the weekend. Tip number two is to always go to the gym with a workout plan so you can eliminate those awkward moments where you're standing around not really knowing what to do next. Having a workout plan when you go in also allows you to be a little bit more strategic with your setup. For example, if you choose to do a dumbbell workout or a barbell workout, you can stay in that one location for the entirety of your workout. Another way to strategize with your setup is to either get set up in a corner so that people can only look at you from two sides instead of four. You can also go in like an empty dance room if there's no classes in there at the time. And my last tip is to always have a good playlist, something that you can put in both ears full volume and just completely so now some people also like to listen to a podcast or watch a show finish a movie whatever it is but yeah I've been trying to be better about having a protein shake or at least a high protein snack um, right after I finish working out because I'm not really good at keeping up with my protein intake and really like feeding my muscles as much as I work them. It's really not that bad. I've just never had a protein shake in a can before. Anyways. A couple days ago, I couldn't find the adapter for my computer and I was tearing my room apart trying to find it. Cut my finger, didn't realize that I was bleeding and then got blood on my white comforter, washed it out and then when I took it out of the dryer, there was another big like brown water stain on my blanket and I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what from, but now I need a new one. They have this white and beige striped one, but not really in the budget at the moment for a comforter. I could probably go for something like this, but my bed is a queen size. They also have this as an option, but I kind of like the other one better that was just like plain white. So maybe I'll have to order it online. Look at the moon freaking peeking over my neighbor's house. It's so cute. And for some reason it's picking up like double on the camera. You can see the illumination of the moon and then you can see like, I don't know, that looks kind of trippy. It's a little hard to see on camera or maybe it's not, but <laughs> yeah, it's not. Here's the big brown water stain that got on my bed. Don't know how that happened but so one thing i have noticed about myself is that when i do spend time alone i am always doing something busy i'm either working i'm editing i'm researching something i'm going to the gym i'm never just chilling and doing nothing to the point where a few weeks ago i just wanted to chill and do nothing for the day because it was gloomy outside and i had my window open by like 12 o'clock in the afternoon my mom came to my door and was like um are you okay? She's like, are you feeling okay? Like she thought I was sick because I wasn't doing anything. And that's definitely something that I feel like I should work on and prioritize just spending some time to relax and lay down and do nothing. Like I don't even watch TV anymore because I'm just always doing something. But I'm gonna go on Disney Plus. Hopefully they have Hocus Pocus and Twitches because that is the kind of vibe I am on tonight for my little solo movie night. Maybe I should make myself some popcorn. I went 
the gym again this morning. I just got home, making myself a little sausage and a bagel with strawberry cream cheese. I used to eat them all the time when I was in like elementary school. They're just I've had this shirt in my closet for like a month or two now and for some reason every time I put it on I end up taking it off and I don't really know why but I think today's gonna be the day that I actually wear it. It's kind of comfy. But anyways, it is three o'clock now and I still have about two hours of work to get done. So I decided that I'm gonna go to my new favorite little coffee shop by my house and finish up my work there. Online, it said they closed at five today, but I guess not. That was kind of a bummer, but I have been wanting to go to Barnes and Noble and um, get this new book. I've been wanting for a couple of months, but I just haven't committed to actually going to get it for some reason, but maybe I'll just sit in there and finish my work, or I don't know. I just need to finish my work. I decided not to give up on my coffee shop dreams for today. I found another one close by that closes at six, so I'll have a little bit over an hour to get some work done before they close, and the food looks good, the coffee looks good, so we'll see. I wasn't sure what to get. I was gonna get a coffee, but it's five o'clock, so um, I don't really wanna be up all night. So I got a tea instead. It's still caffeinated, but not as much. I got a white peach tea with lemonade. Then I also got, because I'm greedy and I can't help it. Oh my gosh. This is called a black top muffin. It's like a chocolate chip muffin with like cream cheese in the middle. I have one hour before they close, so I'm gonna try to get done as much as I can right now. This is the book that I got from Barnes & Noble earlier. It's called It's All In Your Head, Get Out Of Your Own Way by Russ, which I was kind of sus about because I'm like, I didn't know he was an author, but the reviews on this book are phenomenal. It's broken down into parts on the back that all seem very interesting and like useful information. So this isn't normally something that I would go out and do by myself. I usually just read at home or like, I don't know. I don't usually like come to the park and just sit by myself, but it's actually kind of nice. It's very peaceful. It's quiet besides like the children screaming every now and then, but it's nice to just like be outside and not sitting in the house. Oh my gosh, look at these dogs trying to chase the squirrel up the tree. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. My 
car has this feature on it that will like tell me the cheapest gas in the area and this is where it sent me. I don't think I've seen gas prices be this high since like mid pandemic because six something is crazy. This is crazy. I kind of got a little bit of a slow start to the day. It's 12.30. I just got dressed. I put on this regular brown shirt. I think I got this at Goodwill a couple months ago. And these dickies, these are like men's carpenter pants. Just gonna have a little neutrals moment for the day. My glasses. I just need to go to the post office and drop these in the mail. And then I need to go to the grocery store because I was scrolling on TikTok this morning and I came across this like lemon, butter, garlic, chicken, pasta recipe. And those flavors together just sound immaculate. I also really like trying new recipes. It's kind of therapeutic, so. Does this not look freaking delicious? lemons, parsley, fettuccine pasta, and it said salt and pepper for the seasonings on the chicken, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do a little more than that. I have this citrusy garlic seasoning blend that I already have in my cabinet from Trader Joe's, and I feel like it'll taste good and go very well with this whole lemon garlic I'm gonna marinate my chicken for a little bit. I'm gonna put the seasoning on it, salt, pepper, olive oil, maybe a little lemon juice and just let it sit in the fridge for a second. I kind of suck at eyeballing the amount of pasta to put in the water because I always either overestimate or underestimate the amount that the pasta is gonna like swell up. But I feel like I'd rather have too much than not enough today. So I'm gonna just put a few more. I don't know, this is probably gonna be too much now. Here's my chicken. It's been in the fridge for about an hour now. <laughs> proud of how this pasta turned out. I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks good. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like it? Honestly, I haven't cooked in a long time and I forgot how much energy it takes to prep and cook and then clean up after and you have to eat too. So um, I'm ready for bed and I'm off again tomorrow. So I'm gonna make sure that tomorrow is really a chill rest day. Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.